On this episode of statistics, we're going to look through the 10 top most used dating apps around the world. Number 10 is two steps. Now, this is an app I was not able to find. Let me know because I, when I went into the app stores, I was not able to find it at all. Number nine is Peppermint, which has over 10 million downloads. Number eight is Happen, H-A-P-P-N. This dating app shows you when you cross paths with another Happen user. I have not tried it yet. Has anyone tried it yet? Let me know how, uh, how this works, if it works at all. On Google Play, the, on the apps, it shows that it has over 50 million downloads. However, in the app store, it only has 34,000 ratings. So kind of suspicious how over 50 million people have downloaded this app, but only 34,000 reviews. A little suspicious, no? Number seven is sweet meat. Altogether, sweet meat. On Google Play, on the app store, it's showing that it has 50 plus million downloads. However, in the Apple app store, it only has 2.3 thousand reviews. Again, kind of suspicious. So in this app, you can live chat with people and it comes in 13 different languages. Next one is Soul. There's only one app. I found that's called Soul. I mean, it's called Soul Chat Match Party. And it kind of looks like a virtual kawaii party. So like you can choose your avatar and dress them up and talk to other people. Yeah, let's just go to the next one. Number five, Tan Tan or Tan Tan. It's T-A-N, T-A-N. This is a Asian dating app. So this app also has 50 plus million downloads with only 12,000 ratings and it's for to find single Asians near you. Number four is L'Amour. Again, one of the apps that I was not able to find on my phone, but I found it on Google Play. There's an app section for apps and games. It has 50 plus million downloads, 806,000 reviews. So I'm wondering if, if it's either just not available for Apple phones or it's not available in the United States because Hinge is not available in Mexico. Number three is Bumble. So I think Bumble is a more serious dating app. What I don't like about Bumble is that there's a time limit. So let's say you match with someone and then the women, the females, have to send the first message within the first 23 hours of matching. If there's no message sent from the female, then the match disappears, which is kind of frustrating, but kind of makes sense because of Tinder, there's a lot of swipe rights. On Tinder, there's a lot of people who are just there to gain followers. But if you have that 24, 23, just 23 or 24 hour uh, expiration time, then it's gonna expire, it's not just gonna like sit there and then the other person does not have to wait for you to ever respond. Number two is Badoo. Badoo. On Google Play, it has over 100 million downloads and the rating, 6.18 million reviews. And it's a four star dating app. So Tinder is full of bots and fake accounts. But on Badu, it's more realistic people. You're not gonna find model looking people on Badu. You're just gonna find very normal people on there. So I think there's definitely less scammers on Badu. So if you wanna try a real dating app that's not just gonna get you nowhere, I think Badu is a good one to go with. Or Bumble. I have a friend, a couple, who met on Bumble about four years ago and they're still together. And number one is Tinder. No surprise there. Tinder also has over 100 million downloads. However, the reviews are, the amount is a lot lower than Badoo's. It's only 5.66 million and it's a 3.5 star. I have a friend who recently joined a new company and this company creates bot accounts for Tinder 
for girls to promote their social media. That is so not fair. When people go on there to, you know, date or hook up or whatever they want, but then it gets like frustrating. Like everyone's like, oh, it doesn't work because there's so many bots on there, fake accounts. <sighs> yeah, so. This one time, one of my followers sent me a screenshot. He was somewhere in Europe, like Austria. And he sent me a screenshot that one of, on one of the dating apps he's on in Austria. That was a girl who was using my pictures. So yeah, um, that's not fun. Don't do that. No catfishing. <laughs> you know, dating app works. It's just there's so many people who make it hard. Don't be one of those people. So these were the top 10 most used dating apps around the world. I, yeah, I do recommend Badu or Bumble if you are serious about online dating. But let me know, have you ever had success on any of these apps? I would love to hear your story.